Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Rick. Welcome to Crown Rick Auto. So in my last video, I said if we made it to 5,000 likes, I will build a Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department vehicle. And we met that goal in less than three days. Thank you guys so much for that. Unfortunately, the video got demonetized. So that's all right. I like working for free, I guess. If they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. And check it out, guys. I got the 2013 Ford Taurus back. The security company that I sold it to no longer needs her. So I bought it back. She seems to be very popular on Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me and you want to see eye candy pictures and all that stuff, then follow me. Link in the description. In the FBI surveillance van, I have a box full of goodies. All right, let's go through it real quick. Wheeling Deck Talon. A camera, Santa Cruz gun locks, Federal Signal Viper, I believe this is red, Shark Fin Antenna, a Federal Signal Delta Touchmaster, all the wires is there so that's a huge plus, some traffic advisors, we may or may not need these, depends, Avenger Sirius Amber and Red Lights, LED bulb for the spotlight some center console plates I have this Motorola XTL 5000 I don't know if I'm gonna use this one yet or I might put a MCS 2000 I'm not sure yet uh, I'm gonna talk to my installer guy and see what he advises headlight flasher by Whelan and a bunch of other random stuff there's still a bunch of other stuff I gotta go through but right now my main focus is getting the car this one is a little too beat up too much work I am not going to mess with this one it's really bad <laughs> this over here is a 2008 Crown Vic it's just been freshly painted not gonna mess with it and that's the movie car that's another project I'm not messing with that And I don't think anybody wants to see a Vegas PD Honda. Blech. The Chevy Impala is an undercover vehicle. Not gonna mess with it either. This 2010 Crown Vic is also freshly painted, so not gonna happen. As a matter of fact, she will be for sale this weekend. And this one right here will be a, yeah, that's gonna be a no. Way too much work. Look at that, no, no only for parts as a matter of fact i gotta cover that before any more rain gets into it remind me to do that before the end of the video so that leaves me with this 2008 ford crown victoria police interceptor this one needs a paint job so that's perfect oh it's been raining and this window is open oh no yikes all right let's take a quick look inside uh, wow <laughs> tell me why i forgot this was a canine unit uh looks like it's gonna have to be a vegas canine unit i'm sure chase and little biscuits would love that let's get this car out of here so we can take a better look at it i'm gonna have to move the impersonator impala i call her that since she was taken from a police impersonator uh, last summer Okay, I just realized I did something stupid. The Impala is not a four-wheel drive and I might get stuck here in the mud. It won't be the first time it happened. <laughs> Check her out though. Ain't she pretty? Let me hit all the siren tones real quick for you. So the impersonator that got arrested had all this cheap eBay siren tones, but they're still pretty good though. loud as hell
All right, I'm gonna have to move all this junk really fast. Looks like there was a little accident here. Oh, it's got a cracked windshield. Let's see if she'll start. She's been sitting here for months. Ooh. Yeah, nice. That sounded like it needs some oil, but it's probably because it's been sitting here for a very long time. So as you can see, she has 134,000 miles, 3,327 idle hours. Not bad at all. All right, let's get her out of here. I'm not gonna lie, when I started her, I was scared that it was gonna make a loud noise because these bottom feeders out here, they like to steal catalyst converters. But thankfully, it's still there. She's running smooth. It's gonna need a lot of work. Anyways, the two side markers are there, so that's a big plus because the Vegas ones have black ones right there. She's definitely gonna get a fresh paint job that I'm gonna do myself. Let's check under the hood. Oh, she is filthy, clean, but dirty. And something smells like it's burning. Probably, uh, I don't know what it is. I'll check it out. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn it off because there's almost no gas. All right, let's check out the trunk. Whew, forgot I was using her as storage. <laughs> Those are all Crown Vic parts. All right, look, I put the light bar on there and just for the hell of it, I'm gonna light her up. Yeah, oh yeah. The blue lights are not working. I'm gonna have to check that out later. Oh yeah, I am so juiced. Okay, I'm gonna go through the inside and clean her up. Okay, I got rid of all the garbage that was in here and uh there is dog hairs everywhere so this is gonna have to be super detailed but a good thing that i realized is that all the wiring is already here so that's perfect this is gonna be an easy installation and check this out kenwood speaker and all that is here so this is gonna be a huge plus um, i'm gonna have to fix this right here let's check out the back not too bad not too bad this is the perfect car i think okay i cleaned out the trunk and look what i found the criminal's knife i found a uh, shy guy <laughs> and a bullet and a doggy biscuit i'm gonna save this for chase psych I also found these two in the trunk. Just got to find uh, two more. All right, let's go hose this thing down. No, no, no. Ooh. I think it's running out of gas. Okay, I went in my storage and got this piece. Now let's just hope it works. Yeah, yeah. All right, now we can wash it. Look at all that. 
Uh, that's not good. Huge shout out to all my channel members. Your support makes videos like these possible. Thank you guys so much.